Hey, gals and guys, it's Christian Mosier from iMediaHelper.com. And today what we're going to do is go over some Google services. Um, some I know existed, some I had no idea that existed. So I thought I'd bring them up and we'd go into them together and play with them. Some I've never even been into. Um, some we're going to explore together. So let's get rid of that. And so it's these things over here. I mean, I've clicked on here before and gotten things I needed, like my calendar or my email, but I've never really scrolled down to actually look <laughs> what's there. So there's a lot of stuff that they offer and some I had no clue that they offer. And a lot of them are, are actually pretty cool. I brought up the best ones that I thought um, you would be interested in that I thought were really cool. Now, this one you're probably aware of, but if you're not, there's Google Drive. So that's just basically like a cloud site for you. and. Google gives you um, so much space. Let's see how much space they give you. So as you see, there's a lot of stuff I have on here, documents. There's a MP3, so that's video. Uh, I'm sure pictures, PDFs, anything you can you want as far as storage. You've get 15 gigs. Uh, oh no, is that 15 gigs used? Two? Oh no, it's 2.61 gigs of 15 gigs used. So you get 15 gigabytes. Um, free and I'm sure you upgrade to get more and I don't particularly need this. Uh, it's something that you can use. So if you get on someone else's computer, um, any place, anywhere, you can log into this uh, drive and this stuff like goes goes around with you um, as long as you got access to the internets, the interwebs. So I want to actually have all these links down in the description. So I'll keep this stuff up. Oh, Google Docs. I mean, everyone, I think, is aware of Google Docs, and it's a it's a free version of, well, it's not a free version. It's, you know, Microsoft Office. Um, you have to purchase a plan for that or purchase their software. Um, I purchase a plan. It's like five bucks a month, and I get their whole suite. So for me, it's it's great. But, you know, if you don't want to spend the, the five bucks, um, yeah, I think it's a, is it a business? I think it's a five buck business account. Anyways, we're not talking about Microsoft. We're talking about uh, Google. Um, so you've got all your pages here. You've got your Excel. You've got your Word. Um, I'm thinking you've got basically every office uh, program that's necessary. Let's see over here. Let's actually look over here. Uh, yeah, you got Docs, Sheets, which is your Excel, Slides, I'm believing is your PowerPoint, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like PowerPoint. Yeah, okay, that's what that is. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty. I'm pretty confident you can download it um, as a Microsoft extension. So like, for instance, Documents, DOC or DOCX, um, .doc, DOC, DOCX, and... Um, what is what is Excel X something or other, but anyways, I, you can download them so you can cross use them either in Microsoft or um, or in uh, Google uh, Docs. Sorry, I can't talk and think at the same time. <laughs> it's impossible for my little brain. What is this sites? Oh yeah yeah yeah. So my uh, gal pal, uh, my sometimes gal friend, um, was doing a website, and I didn't even realize that Google did sites. Um, so here, if you want to go build a website, it's fairly simple. I mean, do a blank site and then there you go. You can put your table in here and then you can add blocks and stuff. It's not any different than any other. Let me shrink my stupid person here. My person, my stupid self. Uh, it's not any different than any other uh, drag and drop service. Even, uh, let me see here, even... You can add pages here. So you add pages right there. And uh, there's different templates. So you can add templates. You can add your own. I'm pretty confident. So I've never built a site with this, but I can tell you right right away. It's it's If you know one content management system online, you know them all because they're all pretty much the same drag and drop these days. Uh, maybe a little, little learning curve for each one, but... Uh, not not a big learning curve. So let me make sure I get this link for you. Just want to make sure I keep all these links up for you so I can put them down in the description. This is kind of awesome. This is I just discovered um, yesterday and actually the basis of why I'm making this video. So this tells you, so I'm through Spectrum Cable and this tells you um, Charter owns Spectrum Cable. So this tells you kind of what's going on in the neighborhood as far as speed is concerned. Um, let me see. We're at 10 o'clock. Let me refresh this and see what happens here. So let me see. That's 6 to 7. So how do you do real time? You can compare uh, providers in your area. I'm not sure what First Light is. Frontiers, our phone company. 
Uh, let's see the role internet provides plus. Oh, it doesn't look like this is real. So I'm not too impressed with this now. <laughs> I was impressed with it before. I'm not too impressed with it. Uh, let's check something out. Let's see. Um, Google internet speed. So run speed test. Okay, you can run a speed test, internet speed test right here. This is Google Fiber. I don't think we have Google Fiber here. Oh, this test is for um, Spectrum out of Syracuse. Um, so this is the different places that, okay, so University of Rochester is like six, seven miles from here. Rochester Institute of Technology, RIT is, oh, it says right here, six miles. Um, okay. So I'll put this down in the description as well. And then it just gives you the different locations. So let's try University of Rochester for my case. And we'll go, and this is real time. So as you can see, pretty pretty fast. So this just kind of indicates, I think, uh, kind of like the, um, what am I trying to say? The um, average of, of time frames during the day. Uh, it doesn't look like this is real time. So I'll make sure to put this down in the description as well. Do, do, do. Memories, Google Photos. I think we all know that, uh, this exists. Uh, if you don't, I don't even know if anything's in here. I hope there's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing you folks can't see. Uh, I'll keep organizing your photos by face. Um, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I don't use this at all. What the hell is up here? Oh, yeah. So... Me and my buddy, we geocached, or we used to geocache a lot. So when we went out, we found this blow up lady doll, like out in the middle of the woods, <laughs> <laughs> undercover boss with Pat Patrick Stewart. Where does this stuff come? This is my feet up um, at the work that I used to work at the VA. All right, there's no nudities or nothing. So I think I'm good. This is where I used to work at the VA with the computers. Okay, we're all good. So, anyways, you can store your photos, and if you link your, um, if your Google to to whatever device, be it your computer, and this must be from my phone because I took a lot of these pictures off my phone, then it will automatically upload these pictures. And I have pictures from 2022 that I didn't even know I had, so I'll have to go back and um, take a look and see what I've got there. Uh, let's see what. Oh, this is pretty awesome too. I just found this today. So this is classroom. You can make your own classrooms. So you don't have to go buy a service, um, a classroom service, like say a Blackboard. And that's the only one that comes to mind because um, that's really the only one I've used. There's tons of e-learning and, and classroom software out there. But I didn't realize that uh, Google had one. So if we go into classroom and you can join a class, you can create a class. Now, I haven't done anything with this. I have no reason to. But um, you can certainly go in and play play with it. It exists, and I didn't know it exists, and maybe you didn't know it exists. But it looks like fun. If I had a reason to use it, I'd go in and play with it. But um, that's what she said. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, so Google Fit, that's that looks like an app for your phone. So I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I think it regulate or um, counts your steps and, and stuff like that. Um, I'm pretty certain coaching that fits. So it's a health app. Lunchtime run. Yeah, I think that's basic. I've never used this, but I think I'm actually going to put this on my phone so I can use it. So you just hit that and install. Of course, you have to have your phone linked um, to your Google account, which I do. And that's this one. Okay. So that's good. Oh, I'm going to sign in. And okay, so that's on my phone now. So if I grab my phone, well, you know what? It's probably in here. Oh, there it is. It's in a Google folder. So it put itself in a Google folder with Google One. I don't even know what Google One is. Google TV, Google Drive. All right. I'm not sure if you could see it or not. So it put it, it put itself in a Google folder. So that's why I couldn't find it. All right, that mystery is is solved. So that's Google Fit. So try that out. I will try that out and I might do separate videos for this stuff. Now this is um, Google Finance. I had no idea this even existed. So um, I just found this today. So we're gonna try a new 
uh, playground portfolio. No, I have real investments. So let's see. I'm going to put in Mosier. Um, and let's see what happens. I would. So let's add investments. Uh, type investment name or symbol. Let me, now let me see if stash comes up. So these might just be, because I have, yeah, I don't think these are going to do what I want it to do. So I would want websites to be on here. So sure, you can add an investment, but I would want to add um, stock ETF, which I have, index currency, but you can't... Um, so I can't put in stash or acorn and let it draw from that. I'm seeing. All right. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, I'll play around with that later when I have uh, more of an opportunity. But that is something cool uh, for all you people, investors out there. I didn't know it was existed. So maybe you didn't. And uh, we'll both play with it, so to speak. This all is right. kind of interesting. Google Arts and Culture. Um, I didn't know this was around until this morning. So if you're into the arts, uh, that's very cool. What I thought was cool was if you hit this nearby. Um, so in the Rochester area, I can see the cultural centers around me. Um, so Strong National Museum of Play is awesome. That's na nationwide. That's known nationwide. It's a good place to hang out. A lot of good places to hang out. Memorial Art Gallery, I've been there several times. Uh, so yeah, put it in your, your area and see what where you can venture to for the day, especially if it's... Um, well, it's not snowing out, but there is snow on the ground. Okay, so I'll put that uh, link in the description. Google Voice. Now, I haven't. I know what it is. I haven't played around with it, so um, I don't know if I want to do for business. I'll do for personal. Um, do for web. And let's see how this works. Welcome to Google Voice. Let's continue. Get a free phone number. Um, see if they have for Rochester. So no, I think it's just grabbing from locations that I'm near. So Ontario, New York is fine. I don't want a 315 number though. You'd think they'd have Rochester in here, right? Um, probably not Greece, New York. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to go back to Rochester, New York, because my area code is 585. And then you can hit select. So when I get, I get tons and tons of calls a day from, from Asian Indians for recruiters, right? And they'll call from one area code, and then they'll call immediately after from and from this area code, from 585. So this is probably how they do it. Um, here, I'll select this. Verify. Enter number in the link. Inbound calls to your Google Voice number will be forwarded to... Oh, okay, so I'll put, I would put my phone number in there and then so on and so forth. So if you want a, a number, a different number, and you want it forwarded to your existing number, um, I guess to hide your number or, or, or whatnot, or use it as a business account or use it as a personal, um, you'll go here and, and do that. So I'll fart around with that later. I don't need that anyways. Um, what else we got here? Oh, critical response. So this was interesting as well. This kind of tells you what's what's going on around the world. So if the planet happens to explode, <laughs> you can just go on this site and you'll know it. I, I, I don't think you'll be able to go on the site if the planet explodes, but if there's something going on, um, there's forecast and alerts. So I'm trying to see if um, file warning for Pine Gulch. I have no idea where that is. Do they have your area? Mission, stories, partnerships. I'll have to play around with this a little bit um, to see if you can put in your area. But something interesting. Okay, is there earthquakes happening? <laughs> what to do while during a hurricane or a hurricane earthquake? Um, and so on and so forth. So I just found this this morning. I didn't play around with it. You and I are looking at it together uh, for the first time. All right. So interesting. I'll put that link down in the uh, description. Um, Google Workspace Marketplace. Oh, these are like different apps that um, 
will talk to Google. You can use with Google, so you can sign up with Google. So I haven't really gone through these either. I'm sure I've used several of these apps before, but um, I'll put this in the description and I'm going to look through this stuff later because a lot of stuff I've never heard of. Um, a workday, I know what it is, that is. Um, so a lot of interesting stuff. And there's oobles and oobles and oobles of, um, oobles means a lot. I just made that word up of uh, apps there. All right. And um, here's Translator, Google Translator. I knew this existed, but I never really give it much thought when I need it. So I'll put this uh, link down in the description. So, right, you say, hello, hello, world. And uh, you want it to show up in Spanish. And there you go. And there's a gazillion languages. Excuse me. And I think that's it, gals and guys. I'm going to label this as 10 awesome Google sites or something like that. We went over more than 10, but for the for the YouTube algorithm to get hits, um, I'll fib a little bit. Okay, and that's it. There's Google's. If you don't know, there's this thing called Google. Um, there's a search engine called Google. If you're not aware, and I'll put that um, <laughs> I'll put that down in the description so you know exactly what it is. You put you you put what you want to search in in there uh, where it says search, and it will come up with a list of of things um, that you're searching. It's amazing. Uh, I know this is fairly new, um, so I don't know. I'll put in poop. Whoop. I'll put in. Whoop, and it will help you with spelling. And so there you go. There's a bunch of stuff about poop if you're interested in that. I'm 12 years old. I don't know what to say. All right, Gales and guys, this was an interesting video. I just wanted to go down and 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 see what Google had to offer and share what Google has to offer and drink my coffee and wrap with you and wear my Santa hat. So I had a lot of um, I had a, hot, a lot of agendas with this particular video. All right, gals and guys, uh, I'm going to go do whatever it is that I do for the rest of the day, and you do the same. Uh, please subscribe if you could be so kind and uh, like this video and share and hit that bell for updates. And after today, I'll have more Christmas stuff coming. Um, I stopped the Christmas stuff for today just for the simple fact that is, I don't know. I have no real reason why. I have no reason. I have no excuse for you all. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.